my god that is is that one of the patreon stories is it still coming is have you gotten to that one they just got a sneak peek these people uh, they got a, a future a future patreon and story patreon i guess we can talk about this now patreon fucked you and i over a little bit yeah. this month. Huh? unless 11 people out in one day decided that they just do not want anything to do with me anymore how many yeah. patrons do you have i had uh 48 and now i'm down, i'm down to 35 actually it's more than it's more than fucking 10 it's like 12 so like leo lost some patrons i check this out dude this is scary shit every month since i started my patreon and Austin, he's probably perking up now, too, because Austin's always afraid that Patreon is going to move against me in some conspiracy because they're ultra liberal. Yeah. They hate probably people like me. Mm-hmm. I've noticed that I've never had higher than a 3% credit card decline rate. That's not saying people don't leave the Patreon and revoke their pledge, but the people who have their cards down, those cards aren't denied for insufficient funds or closing down the account more than at a rate of 3% per month. Mm-hmm. This month, it was 40%. 40% of the cards just didn't go through. And a ton of people messaged me on Twitter, on Instagram. Hey, I'm trying to be your patron, but it's rejecting me, even though I have $1,533 in my bank account. And the pledge is five bucks. Hmm. This is fucking bullshit. So it sounds like you and I are having the same issue. Yeah. And I, w- and I want to look at your stats to see sure. if it's declines. Sure. And maybe they are trying to cut the head off the serpent of the Danny Mullen channel. That would be nuts, man. Maybe Fan Jerry lost 30% of his patrons too, <laughs> so he's down to two. You, you do, That one guy that you told me about, uh, I fucking always forget his name, but the guy that uh, he like uh, argues with feminists and he's... Uh, Steven Crowder. Yes. No, well, not not just that guy. No, it's another guy. He's he's a much more intellectual guy. Uh, ben Shapiro? No. it's He's not a comedian. He's a... Uh, Neither is Ben Shapiro. Oh, well, I'm sorry. Jordan uh, Peterson? Jordan Peterson. There we go. Jordan Peterson um, just deleted his Patreon, and yep. he was making $85,000 a month? The reason for that, and I'm sure Austin knows about this, too, is there was this guy, Sargon of Akkad, mm-hmm. who... Big fan. Are you? Yeah, I love Sargon. I watch all those guys. I'm kind of a... Sargon Nazi or whatever. self... <laughs> to clarify that statement so people don't think you're actually Not a Nazi. Not a Nazi. People would call me... A Nazi as a slur. You're conservative. Yes, I'm a, I'm a conservative. He's a conservative. You can't. Just, He's you a can't conservative. Okay, can, Austin, can you never again just say you're a Nazi without context into that microphone? Okay, yeah. Now with context, it's a slur for conservatives. We might have to make a video of taking them around and you know making them make out with black chicks or something. <laughs> Been there, done that. I can show you the rest. Sargon of Akkad he identifies as a liberal, but I guess sort of like that dude Tim Pool also says he's a liberal. They're actually on the conservative side. Most of their fans are conservative. I'm not saying they're hate mongers. Then again, I don't really know much about him. But Sargon or Patreon got hold of Sargon's podcast transcript mm-hmm. where he'd said the word nigger multiple mm-hmm. times. And it was in print, the form I saw, so I couldn't really decipher the context. But it looked like he was making an ironic statement about something a racist would say, and he was making gotcha. fun of it. He right. was interviewing white supremacists and calling them that. The N-word? Yeah. Gotcha. And it was some intellectual exercise, and he wasn't actually being a racist, correct? No, he was just making fun of the white supremacists he was talking to at the time. Gotcha. Patreon it against them, yeah. just pulls the plug on his Patreon account. He pushed a bunch of videos out on his YouTube channel. People like Jordan Peterson and Sam Harris, mm-hmm. who are much more mainstream, have much larger audiences, and are mainstream intellectuals. Like Sam Harris has been on Bill Maher's show, Joe Rogan, so is Jordan mm-hmm. Peterson. And so he's been on Bill Maher's too, I guess. Mm-hmm. But... They thought, hey, this is censorship. This is complete bullshit. We're gone. They voluntarily withdrew from Patreon. And yeah, they both had almost $100,000 a month coming in from that platform. That's nuts, man. And it's also a strange coincidence because a couple of weeks before this happened, I got warned by their trust and safety committee, which sounds like something out of the novel 1984. It sounds a little ominous. Yeah. Where they go around and, and, and correct the behavior they don't like on Patreon. They messaged me and said the stuff on my page was too sexual. There was an image of me getting a blowjob, and there was images of my old roommate getting sucked off in San Francisco. 
I totally agreed with it. I said, I'm sorry. I should have thought that through. I realized that's pornography and not just nudity. I deleted it and they were totally fine. But now I'm starting to think like maybe they saw those images and then looked mm -hmm. into me a little bit more. Yeah. They saw maybe the Edward Ford hands where we throw yeah. about uh, a thousand and a half hard F's out. Oh, yeah. We threw a lot of those out. Yeah. Maybe they watch his podcast. Maybe they're watching right now. That would be impressive. They must have yeah. a live feed yeah, somewhere. Yeah. It's hidden camera. This place is bugged. It is bugged. That's an issue that we have now, though. Patreon. Yeah. Yeah, I hope. I mean, I hope it's just guys that left and, you know, the coronavirus is, you know, they're struggling to pay. But to me, it was declines. That wasn't the case. Yeah, it, I'll check. I don't have no idea how to check. Does it let you know that they're, they've been declined? I can check it. Okay, check for me. Yeah. Maybe this will be the boost I need, though, to focus more on merchandising. Yeah, man, definitely. Because Patreon's yeah. definitely what's been keeping this channel going. Your mer your merchy is does have any nothing to do with Shopify, right? Are they different companies that do something? Not similar? that I know of. I don't okay. know if there's any affiliation. Okay. For the people who want to know, Patreon last month with that uh, release the Kraken, release the Krakens where you can pay three grand that I'll come out and drink and party with you and record a video. Mm -hmm. I got that for the first time in a year. And then on top of that, about five grand and other pledges. That's crazy. So man. it was eight or almost nine grand total from Patreon last wow. year, which is insane money. Yeah, and it's great amazing. because then multiple days of shooting, I can pay mm -hmm. the cameraman, mm -hmm. hotels, props. I was going nuts. But now if I lose almost half my patrons every month, yeah, that would be I got to pull back the operation a little bit. Yeah, that would be that would be tough. But I feel like you, you probably get you pick up a couple of patrons every month or more. People, uh, you can pick yeah. up a lot of patrons. No, no. The, yeah. the patron, like, Patreon goes really, really well for me. But it's it, amazing, it's, yeah. the thing is, it, it can't go well if they delete half of the followers. No, no, no. No, that would be, that, yeah, that would be fucking because troubling. I don't double my following every month. No. And they're taking away almost 50% of my followers. No, it's hard. Patreon is, it's it's a hard thing. That you're picking up each one of those people and they trust you. It's like a, a relationship you have with them. I mean, I'm definitely getting to know all these guys. And it's like, yeah, you don't want to lose any of them because, it's, you know, for some fucked up reason. It's yeah. not just them. I mean, they, they can't pay or something. Yeah. Sorry, we had to go on that tangent. People. Yeah, that good. was a little bit of fear about the yeah. the fuel for the Danny Mullen channel going yeah. forward. Got to make sure that shit's all squared away so we could keep getting out there and getting good shit filmed. Speaking of which,